Hello everybody, in today's video I wanted to give you some tips for the rock paper scissors event. Actually I'm going to give you a tool that you can use to pretty much figure out what you should use instantaneously. So stay tuned and watch the video till the end. First off I want to start by saying that I don't think there is a pattern to this rock paper scissors event. I think it's just based on these probabilities that are shown here, like a rock card has a 33% chance, paper card 33, scissors 33%. However, their probability changes based on how many of these are available here, right? So that being said, in this case, you can actually figure out what you should use to get the highest probability of winning. In this case, that would be the paper card. And that is because if I choose paper, there's a two in five chance that I'll get rock. And so that is a two in five chance that I'll win. There's a two in five chance that I'll get paper and I'll draw. So a two in five chance of winning, two in five chance of draw, and only one in five chance of loss. So that seems to be my best option. If I choose anything else, for example, if I choose rock, let's say, then there's a two in five chance of drawing, two in five chance of losing, and only one in five chance of winning, which is pretty bad. And if I choose scissors, there's a two in five chance of losing, two in five chance of winning, and one in five chance of draw. So that is also bad. So I want to increase my chances of winning while reducing my chances of losses. And so I'm going to go with paper. But actually, I did all of these calculations in my head. I don't actually need to do that because I simply have a spreadsheet that you can use over here to figure out what you should use. So right now, all you need to do is type in the these numbers two to one. So I'm just going to type two rocks two paper and one scissor and it's going to tell me exactly what I should use. Here it's telling me to use paper which is what I calculated and so we're going to select paper and let's see if we win. Now keep in mind that this is not guaranteed like right now I got super unlucky because I was the least likely to get scissors but I still got scissors and lost but now that we've lost our scissors there's no way we can lose with paper. We can only either win or draw. So we're gonna use paper again because this is what my sheet is suggesting. We use paper, let's see what happens. Okay, we won this time, that's awesome. So we're gonna reduce the number of rocks to one and now it's telling me to use scissors. And this actually makes sense because there's two papers and only one rock. So it makes sense to use uh, scissors because it's more likely to give me a victory. And there you go, I won. And now there's only one rock and one paper. So now it's telling me to use paper, which also makes sense because I can only either draw or lose with, uh, I can either draw or win with paper. Anything else I could lose, but with paper, I can only win or draw. So we're gonna go with paper. And it's a draw. And we're gonna go paper again because only rock is left so we're gonna go paper and this should be a win easy so if you want to download this excel sheet i'll leave a link to download it in the description but i'm going to do a few more for this video just to show you that it works so now we have two two one again so two two and one and it's telling me paper again so we're going to use paper let's see what happens we got a draw, no problem. So now we got paper down to one. It's still telling me to use paper, so I'm gonna go with that. We won, awesome. And now it's telling, okay, we got one, one, one. So now actually I can use any of these three because all of these three are uh, equally likely for me to win, lose, or draw. So I, in this case, whenever you get whenever you're in this situation what you should do is you should use the card with the highest number so if i since i have 56 of these scissor cards i'm going to use scissor cards because 
I have a lot of these scissor cards, right? I don't want to use like a rock card because I'm going to run out of rock cards sooner than I'm going to run out of scissor cards. And that's why I'm going to go with these 55 scissor cards. And let's see what happens. Okay, we got a draw, no problem. And I'm going to change the scissor to zero. Now it's telling me to use paper, which makes sense. So nice, we won. And now we simply use scissor because there's only one paper left. And that should be another victory. And if I change this to zero here, it'll also tell me to use, to use scissor. Okay, so now we have 212. So let's see what the recommendation is. It's rock, so we're going to go with rock. Okay, we lost. We got super unlucky, but it's okay because that eliminated the paper so now there's no way we can lose with rock so we're gonna use rock again nice we won and so now there's only one scissor so now it's telling me to use paper so that's what we're gonna do this is a bit risky because there's a scissor and we did lose but now we can actually use two papers and win two in a row so we're gonna do paper and win and then we're going to use paper again and win nice yep so that's how this works i'll continue doing these in the video but thank you for watching because i'm not going to do any more commentary i'll just uh play this event and try to use pretty much all of my cards that I have left. And yeah, if you want to download the Excel sheet, it'll, it'll be in the description and also in the pinned comment. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.
Okay, so since I'm running out of scissors, I'm going to end the video right here. But thank you so much guys for watching the video if you're still watching. And I'll see you all in the next one.